I mean, I, I know, like, I, I texted uh, Eric Morrill after. I'm like, I know, like, the outcome didn't go the way that you guys wanted, but, like, I thought it was still a win. Like, you had, like, pretty, what it felt like so many people from all across California, like, came to watch California wrestling, and it was awesome. Um, it was. It was so great to see that support and, uh, you know, show CBU and the Inland Empire what this is going to be long term. Um, and, you know, yeah, we're a second year D1 program t- taking on the number two team in the nation. That's going to be a tough one. Iowa shuts out, you know, top 15 teams. So keeping that in the back of the mind is good. But as a coach, and as a competitor, nobody likes to lose and especially, you know, but um, yeah, the support we had, the number of fans we had and what I found out later that that was actually so that that was the largest non-basketball athletics event cbu has ever had with 4,676 people you know just 300 shy of uh, a sellout and it was the most revenue any athletics event had ever brought in from one event um, over any basketball game because apparently they gave away a lot more free tickets and we gave away some free but not not as many so it was a it was a great event and we're excited to do that every year and we'll switch it up different teams you know I want to create a rivalry with Cal Poly and some California schools yeah. mm-hmm. and start to boost those a little bit more. And that's, that's probably the plan for next year, but such a great venue with, you know, 5,000 seats, all of them are great seats and, you know, we're getting more and more just an exciting environment. And as our guys develop and we, you know, we get a little bit of an older, more mature team, it's going to be, it's gonna be a lot of fun to go in there and, and compete and uh, start to get some wins over there. <laughs>